everyone. In today's video, we will learn how to use a machine learning model with iOS code using Swift UI. In our last video, we learned how to create a machine learning model using Xcode with minimal knowledge of machine learning. If you haven't watched that video, please find the link below in the description. In today's video, we will use the model created in last video and integrate it with Swift UI iOS application. Here I have created a very basic app which let us capture an image and that image we will pass to our machine learning model for processing. The purpose of this video is to learn how to use your own machine learning model with iOS code. We will not discuss the design of this application. Before we start diving into the code, let's make sure that model has been included to the project. This is the model which we have created in our last video. I'm going to drag and drop it into the model folder in my project. Now we have model in our project. Let's look at the code. This is scanning image view. So this view loads after image is captured from the camera and this uh, create an animation of scanning the image. At the moment, it is not predicting anything because the model is not linked to the code yet. So it's just scanning and doing nothing. Now, to attach the machine learning model with this code, first of all, we need to make sure that we have the required frameworks. So we will import two frameworks, Core ML and Vision. Let's start the fun work. So here we have a state variable prediction, which currently has the string no prediction yet because there are no predictions made. And this variable we are displaying on top of the view as the state of the variable prediction will change, we can change the text. When this view appears, we are calling a, an asynchronous task. And this task will call a function called classify image where we are passing the image which we have captured from the camera. And this function currently is empty and uh, doing nothing. But here we will get the image, we will convert the image into CI image, which will be acceptable with the uh, classification model. And then we will call an instance of our model, we will pass it to VNML model, and then we will create a request which will be handled by the request handler and then we will get back our prediction. Let's convert the UI image to CI image first. Let's call it CI image. We will pass our image to this method. We are guarding this variable so that if there is any problem it can return. And here we can also update the prediction variable and we can say failed to convert image. Once we receive the image, we will write a do block where all the fun work we will write and we will catch any exceptions if occur. And here we can again update the prediction variable or simply print on console. And let's put a generic message here, an exception occurred. First of all, let's create an instance of our model. When a model is imported into Xcode, it automatically creates a class for that. Let's call the variable my ML. Since our model name is my model, that will be the name which we will be calling. We will pass a configuration. It will tell you what type of the configuration need to be passed. So it is ML model configuration dot model. So now let's see if there is any problem to load this model. It will return and we can print a message here. All right, if the model is successfully loaded, we need to pass this model to VNML core model. So let's create a variable for that. So let model equal 
3n ml core model and here we will pass the variable my ml we, which we have just created and now we will create a request this request will be passed to the request handler and it is a vn core ml request and here we are going to pass the model variable which we have just created in the line above here we will be handling with two variable request and error this request variable we can use to get the results now results will be in form of an array which will have all the classes which we have in our model and the confidence level which model has for each class for your given image so let's create a variable called results It will be request dot results and we are telling the type and it will be VN classification observation and now since as I said the result will be all the classes and confidence level of the model for each class for your given image we just want the top result the highest confidence level result so now let's catch that result let's call the variable top results dot first so we just want the first result and here and since this result we have created a task which is asynchronous so we need to put the prediction variable here but we will put it in an asynchronous queue and in this block we will put the prediction variable now in the prediction variable what we want is the class name which we can access uh, from top dot identifier so that will be your class or category name and then we want top dot confidence level and we will multiply it with 100 so that it can give the results back to us in percentages now this is all the code which we needed to get the prediction back but right now this request is not performing so we did not tell the classifier to handle this request so for that we need to create a handler let's create a handler we an image request handler and we are going to pass our image which we have converted into CI image format and some options options leave them empty for now and now we need to call method handler dot perform and we will pass our request here okay now the code is ready for testing let's go to my garden and try the application on some real plants
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.